Hello, so I'm Zach. Welcome to the channel. If you're a first timer, if you've come here before, I appreciate you coming back and checking out my videos. Today I want to talk about the Extended Foot 9000 Hi-Hat. So recently I just picked up a new 9000 double pedal with the Extended Footboard and I did a video comparing the standard versus the Extended Foot pedal. Uh, you can find that here. I also, uh, due to reasons beyond my belief, uh, just picked this up and had to swap it from a three-legged to a two-legged hi-hat stand. So you can then also find that video right here. I'll show you how you can take these legs off if you want to do a legless setup or not. But in this video, I just want to talk about the difference between the standard and the extended foot pedal and I'll tell you what if you own the extended foot pedal double pedal or single you honestly want to make sure that you get the matching extended foot pedal hi-hat uh, right off the bat they are identical hi-hats there is no difference between this one and that one um, other than the obvious the extended foot pedal so or extended footboard and basically it's a nine inch footboard versus a 10 inch and that's counting from the toe stop to the hinge and I didn't think that would be much of a difference uh, when I first bought my bass drum pedal but I realized going back and forth from my bass drum pedal which is now the extended foot pedal or footboard all the way to the hi-hat I kept hitting my toe on the toe stop now I wear a size 11 shoe not the biggest speed in the world, not the smallest speed in the world, but let me tell you, that one inch makes a difference. So every inch counts, guys, when we're talking about extended foot boards. So back to that. With that said, as I was playing, I realized I'd go back and forth, and my foot would fit perfect on that bass drum pedal. But then when I went over to the hi-hat, I kept hitting my toe on the stop. So I went ahead, I just went and purchased this, swapped out the legs, made it a two leg, and I'm going to put it back on there and show you the difference. But I'm super excited and I can't recommend enough that if you have a DW extended footboard, you want to get the matching XF series hi hat too. They just work really well together. So. I'm going to go ahead, put it over on the kit, and show you the new setup compared to the old setup. Before, when I would switch, I got my foot on there all the way, and I'd hit the toe stop, but now I got my foot all the way, no toe stop in my way. I can switch back and forth from my hi-hat to my bass drum pedal quick and easy without hitting the top of the toe stop, and that is a huge huge difference and I never realized it until I picked up this new pedal so it's really nice just switching back and forth they look the same they feel the same same lengths it's just a great combination with that said here's my old uh, 9000 and my old standard pedal I'm gonna take these I'm gonna swap out my 5000s for 9000s clean these all up oil them up and, uh, you know, rock out on 9,000 pedals on all my kits. But I just want to thank you for coming over to the channel, checking it out. If you like what you saw, give it a like, give it a subscribe. I'll keep posting up more, more videos. I never know what I'm going to post, but thanks for watching.